Today I am going to take you on a mini tour around Fastone Image Viewer. Fastone Image Viewer is my personal default image viewer of choice, but it's only one of three very good image viewers. Um, Earthen View and XN View being the other two, of course. They're all free, all have very similar feature sets. They're all very good. It's all subjective. I chose Fastone simply because I liked its user interface. Now, Fastone is somewhat similar to Windows 8 in that its menu system is tucked away and hidden on the sides and requires a mouse over to reveal them. Left, right, bottom, and top. Now, you see this film strip type display here, which is a thumbnail representation of each image included in the folder and clicking on the thumbnails changes the image displayed in the main pane. You can create the same effect here with these down the bottom with these left and right arrows. You can scroll all the way through the entire contents of a folder. Now we have the usual imaging uh the usual editing options I should say. Uh we can copy Move, delete, have lossless rotation, have a very good uh, com compare feature which you can compare four images, up to four images side by side. We'll just select two images here and hit the compare button. Just need to resize those because they're a bit big to see properly. 16% is good. And you can do that side by side comparison with up to four images. We have a very good uh, slideshow creator included in Fastone. You can set the duration for each image, how long you want it to display for. Uh, we can choose from up to 156 transition effects and we can even add, add background music. Add music, uh, any any MP3 track that you have saved on your hard drive. It's very easy to set up and creates a very good, very nice uh, slideshow. And we also have this very good resizing image. This is a physical resize. You just pick a, a standard size from this drop-down menu. Too small, of course, and you'll uh, lose a lot of detail. Too large, and you'll you'll still end up with a file size that's too big, unsuitable for emailing. I've always found 640 by 480 is a is a happy medium. Just click the send email button, and uh, an email will open with the Im resized images already attached. Of course, that's provided that you have. Uh, a locally installed email client or copy to folder uh, which is the option I generally use I created a, a new folder in my pictures called resized photos and I just pop them all in there on the right menu here we have EXIF information which shows us details of the camera and settings a histogram with some information about the file, its location, size, etc. And on the left hand side, this is our main working menu for editing, where we have some really nice options here. Basic, but very useful. We can auto adjust colors, red eye removal. The clone and heel, I checked that out a couple of days ago and I couldn't work it out. I'm not quite sure what it does. Perhaps if somebody more intelligent than I might enlighten us on that one. We can adjust lighting, adjust colours, adjust levels and curves, sharpen and blur. Uh, these photos were taken in Queenstown, New Zealand, and as you can see, the snow on the mountains in the background sometimes created a little bit of overexposure, and we can adjust that through these editing settings here we just find the adjust lighting we can 
bump up the contrast a little, reduce the highlight slightly, and we can fine tune those settings with these little up and down arrows. Now here's the beauty of the fast own editor. With a simple click on a button we can see our before and after. That's our original image and that's what it'll look like with the editing applied. Now from there you can uh, choose to either uh, save the edited image over the top of the original, save it as a separate image and keep the original, or just discard the settings altogether. Anyway, that's a quick tour around Fast Own Image Viewer. I hope you've enjoyed it.